Hey, thanks for tuning in to episode 66 of the Romeo Divine Radio Show. I am your host, Mr. Romeo Divine, coming to you live from the Radio Fairfax Studios here in fabulous Fairfax County, Virginia. Today, we have no double O Sarah. She went to another radio show. No, I'm just joking. Uh, Sarah's not here this week, so I'm going to hold it down. But I do have a special guest in the house, L24 Prime, local rapper out of, uh, excuse me, Woodbridge, Virginia. Uh, in the meantime, I want to just say hello to all the friends of the show who are out there listening, Europe, Washington, D.C. area, California, all over the world. Thank you for the support. And you know you can go get the podcast at romeodivine.podbean.com. If all else fails, just Google me. Or you can hit me up on my Facebook page, which is the Romeo Divine TV and Radio Show, or my personal Facebook page, which is Romeo Divine. Divine is spelled D-E-V-I-N-E. Hey, if you tuned in last week, uh, we were talking about a lot of things. You know, I have an obsession with Mob Wives, uh, which is a reality-based TV show on VH1. If you listen to the show, you know that I talk about Mob Wives every week. (laughs) And if you watch the show, you'll start watching Mob Wives all the time. They have marathons that come on on Sundays on VH1. I'm just saying, if you happen to be home, you should check it out. Uh, Last week, I also talked about wet farts and dry farts. Have you ever been so sick you've been afraid to fart because you think something else might happen? (laughs) We also talked about St. Valentine and the saint himself and how he might have been back in the day. We pictured him as this tall, skinny guy with fiery red hair and crystal blue eyes who talked with the lisp. So, so, hey, I'm going to have my guest join in. L24 Prime, what's going on, man? Uh, not a whole lot. Kind of got lost. You got on, lost on the way here. It's crazy. Dude, don't take this the wrong way, but you don't look like a typical rapper. You know that, right? Really? Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. You don't look like a typical <laughs> rapper, man. You don't have chains. And, right. Uh, right. Right. Well, I'm 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 allergic to um being fake. <laughs> so. Hey, let's uh help the audience get to know you. L24 yeah. Prime, that's your rap name. Right, that's spelled um, capital L, number two, number four, capital P, R-I-M-E, all one word, okay. which is also uh, my Twitter um, account as well. So if you want to follow me, do that, okay. definitely. So let's let's ask this question first. Okay, let's go. What's behind the name, man? That's not a normal <laughs> like rap name. Usually it's something like right. n- named after some crime or misdemeanor or something. Right. So how or, did you come or, up with Or an L24? animal or a fruit, right. Or an animal or a fruit. <laughs> how did you come up with L24 Prime? Well, L24 Prime, it's, uh, it's pretty involved. Um, okay, L4, um, that's the four L's, live, love, love, life. It's definitely, it's a quote that I live by. You're getting it's, deep, man. Yeah. You're getting real deep. Yes, yeah, because. We're only two minutes into the show, man. Oh, You're making, <laughs> making me put my thinking cap on. Just oh. make sure you talk real close to this filter. I want to make sure everybody hears you. Yeah, got to keep you on your toes. But um, L4, live, love, love, mm-hmm. life. It's a saying that I live by. Okay. Uh, two, four. I'm the second out of four children. And um, four divided by two is the uh, two, which is the only even prime number. And so my style can only be defined by itself. Dude, man, what's your IQ, man? Uh, one. Are you like off the charts? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like dropping some serious <laughs> knowledge. No, man. No. Well, you know, well, Wu-Tang is like the inspiration for me to even getting into oh, this okay. type of okay. thing. So knowledge and all that stuff. Yeah, I guess it comes from that. So uh, when did you like decide you wanted to become a rapper like? And how old were you when you said, wow, well, right, I'm interested in rapping, you know? Like. Right, yeah. Well, right now I'm 28 years young, mm-hmm. um, and, but I've always been interested in music. Honestly, it's my older brother. Mm-hmm. You look at him and he's like, there's no way that he even listens to hip-hop. Um, Does he look like a uh, like a a person who doesn't look, listen to hip-hop? Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'll say that. I mean, he, he loves, he loves, uh, he loves things like, uh, like, like, no, uh, like, computer video games and yeah. like uh, he's magic. a gamer yeah definitely and i mean nothing wrong with gamers i love gamers yeah, exactly. hey julia um hey julia santiago <laughs> santiago yes julia so, nicole santiago that's correct the whole name yeah she's but, a friend of the show indeed indeed look um, her up on facebook guys in case you're wondering how she looks she is pretty cute she's all right <laughs> hey julia <laughs> um but no um definitely uh when I was when I was in middle school, I think mm-hmm. it was the first one. I had my very first, mm-hmm. uh, I guess, uh, rap battle. You can call it in the cafeteria, and I won. And I was you like, won. "Yeah, and I won!" Wow, um, the winning line, guys. Ready for it? What was the winning line? Ready Keep it clean. It? Keep yeah, it clean. Yeah. Winning line. <laughs> winning line was, "I'm too much to handle. Get on your high horse, and I'll blow you out like a candle." <laughs> 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 hey, 
Hey, back back in '96, that was the hot stuff. The hey, man, for an eighth grader, that's pretty <laughs> deep stuff. Man. Exactly. But so, yeah, you know, I did that, and then um, I I just wound up just loving music, and on my the I believe it was the year of 2006, my mm-hmm. older brother bought for me um FL Studios. Um, anyone that makes beats and stuff like that. Definitely familiar with that type of program. Is that a software program that it is. you can use on your computer to make beats, right? That's correct. That's okay. correct. It's all digital. Um, he bought me that, and I never looked back. Never looked back. Yeah. So at what point did it become more than just a hobby? Because, you know, nowadays <clears throat> uh, with the entertainment industry, whether you're making movies, making music, right. photography, right. the great equalizer has been technology. For example, you're a rapper. Yes. Before, if you wanted to record something with professional sound, Right. You'd have to go pay a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars an hour. That's correct. To go to some studio. Now you can do that with a laptop and a software package. So right. you had that, but when did it become more than just a hobby to you? When did you say, Hey, you know, this is something more to me than just doing this on my spare time? Like mm-hmm. what was that trigger or at that moment? When did you decide, hey, this right. is something that I'm really gonna pursue? Right, for sure. Definitely in um in two thousand six when my brother bought that for me. Um, I messed with it, and you're right, it was a hobby still. Mm-hmm. Um, but 2008, I graduated Fayetteville State University, go Broncos, Bronco Pride, and um, Vietnam, North Carolina. That's right, that's correct. <laughs> um, definitely uh, did that, and I have my bachelor's in criminal justice, actually. Um, really? But I do, yeah. And, oh, okay. And um, no, I'm, I'm, you know, honor thy parents. You know, my father, my my mother wanted me to definitely have a degree mm-hmm. that way, and so I did. And mm-hmm. so now I'm like, okay, I get to do what I want now. Yeah. So definitely, um, in 2008, um, I think is when I definitely was said to myself, I want this to be my main source of income mm-hmm. one day. 2008. Yes. So from 2008, you said, hey. I'm going to start taking this a little more serious. Right, right. And it's I, not going to be just a hobby. That's correct. I still, like, on Twitter, I, I always tweet stuff, like, okay, I'm, I'm in Bruce Wayne mode, I'm in Batman mode. Bruce Wayne being my 9 to 5 and Batman definitely being, you know, the, the music and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely pursued to be more Batman since then. So, like, for example, for a lot of people out there, you know, there's a lot of rappers out there, some famous, some not famous yet. So... For L24 Prime, if I'm out there and I'm listening to this interview, what makes you a little bit more unique or different than maybe some of the other rappers? Is it maybe what you talk about, your style, uh, a mixture of both, your experience, what you bring to the music? Uh, could you expand on that? Right. I definitely would agree with everything you said. Um, just like a lot of artists nowadays, they do... They are independent. A lot of the artists that I listen to are independent artists. So I just try to follow their footsteps and the footsteps of a lot of the um, the, the pioneers of hip hop, really bringing something different to the table. Yes, um, I'm like I have no felonies, uh, no misdemeanors. I haven't been arrested. Like I don't have that type of. So you don't rap about killing people and stuff in your records. You're no, not, or you're not a studio gangster, is what you're saying. I'm not a gangster. Period. Studio or otherwise. But you're not a studio <laughs> gangster. <laughs> That's correct. I'm not. Definitely not. <laughs> One eight seven on an undercover cop. <laughs> right. Yeah. Definitely not. Don't do that at all. But so, um. So what's your ahead. inspiration for the music you write? Is it your experience, personal experience? Right. Right. The pain, the laugh, the joy, the love, the hate. Let's let's <laughs> it's, let's, let's it's explore everything. the deep dark corners of your mind. Oh, now, now now you're ready to get all all well, yeah. We try to, yeah. We stuff. we uh, we like <laughs> we like it when people laugh with us, cry with us, right, right. Love with us, hate with us. Right. We like to provoke emotion well, here on the Romeo go. Divine Radio Show in a good positive way, and Very we good. do it all with a laugh and a smile because. You know, no matter what we say, we always leave, you know, as friends. So Right. And definitely I got the smiling part down. <laughs> Romeo can definitely uh, uh, attest to that. But uh, for sure, it's um, it does come from real life experiences. Okay. Um, um, I've released three albums mm-hmm. that I would consider albums. The reason why, because they're all original beats done by myself. And there's a reoccurring song title on each album. It's called Family Reunion. OK. And with each of these songs, I talk about. Um, my family, pretty much. My okay. mother, my father, my mm-hmm. older brother, my younger brother, my younger sister, and even things where a lot of us could could attest to friends being mm-hmm. family. A lot of our friends are more family than our family. And so on the third one, I talk about that also, family reunion one, two, and three. So I do draw inspiration from uh, real-life experiences from myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say 20% of my material is fabricated, even in the way of inspired by a movie or maybe sure. a situation that a friend went through. Yeah. 